Da -da 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 -da. Hey, it's our loot crate video. <laughs> this is started. Done. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know why. Anyway, so that's the Loot Crate t-shirt. We Crate actually got one this time. Very nice. Is it right, correctly sized for you? Uh, they asked for a size ahead of time. We asked it extra large, and I think that fit everybody here. This <laughs> that's is... going to fit like three people at once. This is throwing me back to my days in the 80s where we had these bracelets. Uh, I think it's just a Loot Crate, Loot Crate bracelet. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, your stuff. Time to accessorize. What is that? Uh, just a Loot Crate bracelet and a Loot Crate lanyard. Um, I think Ooh. this is just like when you have Time those spy, right? you're part of the, 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 um, I guess the, you have that little security tag that you carry around your neck. I'm assuming that's what it's for. Could you wear that because at Fan have, Expo? Oh, maybe. Put your, yeah, there put we go. Your they give you, on. we have a uh, Gen X Wing those. little lanyard or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, they got those. We there. have a stealth wristwatch, which I think is like a fake watch. <laughs> um, wait, do you put your on, watch no, in no, it? It's gotta be a watch. It says, try me. Is Press your face real... display time. Okay. Here. Is your real watch too Press informative? Face. <laughs> oh. oh, dude, I want that. That's pretty cool. Nice. That's okay. Sweet. So far, this is already like a thousand times better than the last crate. Oh, so yeah. Cool. What did you guys uh, spend monthly on this? Uh, Thirty-eight dollars Canadian after taxes oh, and okay. stuff. So, um, that's pretty cool. Let me see that. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take it only. What? It's not an Apple Watch. It doesn't tell you a heart rate. It just tells you the time. It's Bad. Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> It's not ten grand and not made out of gold. What's the point? Can I open this? It's not made with children's teeth. Forget it. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you what? want some, just hang around. My yeah. son's gonna be losing. Uh, okay. Right okay, so what is that there? Uh, it says an Agents of Shield Loot Crate exclusive. Uh, what is it? I like Agents of Shield. I don't know. Here, you open that up. Okay. So. Uh, what's that there? This is a classified Loot Crate field notes confidential. Uh, you can take notes here. This is where we can actually take our notes about what we're going to talk about on the podcast so we don't look so green. That's so, not going to happen. No. I can't uh, spell. I think I've actually done better without stuttering so much today. No. Uh, loot Crate button. Uh, this is the March 2015 Covert. I think it's the theme right there. And okay. what, what spy couldn't survive on the field without some Mad Libs? To pass <laughs> really? This That's is awesome. something Archer would use. He'd be just like... Oh my god, really? Mad totally... Libs? Oh, what is it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. that's your la I think that's for your lanyard. Uh, yep. Yeah, I think that goes for the lanyard. What that do you is do? looking pretty cool. What do we do with? Can we? A certificate of camera? office. office yeah, office you just wear it around your neck. You go to a. Uh, uh, you know, I'm an agent box. of Shield. My mom's gonna love this because she loves Agents of Shield. I a uh, big follower of the show too. Yeah. She loves. She loves that show. I this is a certificate of authenticity. The certificate that the accompanying this cert certifies that the accompanying collectible is an authentic replica produced by EFS Inc. It's oh, so it's a rep replica. A replica. It's, it's literally oh, what Pat... Oh, okay. There you go. Take a look at that. There's it's Pat Oswald. It's, it's what right. he's one of the Koenigs. Yes. There you go. You so, too can be Pat Oswald. Mad Libs. All right, so... Eric's the shorter one, remember? This is... Oh, this is Spy Mad Libs. I'm sorry. I guess I should read this, but Spy Mad Libs, because it says here... Oh, these are so funny. Bum. Uh, espionage is the formal word for verb ending in ing. Spying. There you go. Well, whatever. What? It's a Mad Libs. You just fill in the words. Well, no, I know what Mad Libs are, but the spying seemed a bit obvious. That was, yes. <laughs> a little on the uh, nose. Oh, I know. <laughs> Another... <laughs> a bit on the nose, Money Penny. It's got to do with your porn name again? No, it's got nothing to do with that, you see. Uh, this is a, uh, I guess one of those other, th like last, uh, last month's, um, uh, Luke Crate. Luke Crate, no, sorry, the Firefly. This is, I guess, a value. Get a free digital download of Ninjak. Oh, it's a comic book. Sorry. Oh, Ninja. oh, okay, cool. I might actually you're talking about, the download comic book. Yeah, I think yeah. this is more your thing, but I we, we were talking about Samurai Jack, so this is Ninjak. His, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's Valiant, so they're this actually... This is the Superstore va brand of No, uh, no, Samurai but Jack, actually Val so. it's from Valiant Comics, and they've uh, totally rebooted their whole thing. They come back into comic books, and they are actually uh, got a movie deal happening for all their comics to come out Marvel style. Uh, top Secret Agent 1337, one, one, oh, very tricky, Leet. Uh, your mission, should you choose to accept it, will have your, you traveling through uncharted wilderness in the redacted region of redacted. I don't know what this is. For more pre paracord action, I don't know what exactly. Oh, this has got something to do with the... With the, with the wristband. Here. Wristband, which I really don't feel like going into too much depth right now. Oh, a comic book's in here. What? Yeah. 
Uh, Covert. I guess this is a booklet of stuff that I guess you can purchase. You can all the uh, for all the eight bit looking kit glasses. Yeah. Uh, ooh, Austin Powers. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Get in my belly. Uh, oh, so I guess it's everything that's in this loot crate. There you go. And Metal Gear through the years because that's important. Um, a whole bunch of other stuff here. And so it's another book to order stuff off. Uh, I, I don't know exactly. I guess so. It actually oh. just seems to be like what you got in your loot crate. And exclusive. Ex it's like everything that's in there. And what's that? What's this the last? Exclusive Orpy Ian Black. No, it's Orphan Black. Uh, very funny. Uh, Orphan Black says. Orphan wait, wait. Say that joke again. Then explain it, and it will be funnier the second Total. time. It's Orpy because then uh, Ian. Because right. Ian's, Ian's gonna so hit you. Wait a second. That's a sealed that's comic. Good. Yes. Yeah, it's sold out. That's valuable. No, this is exclusive. No, it's sold out, and it's it's valuable what now. Does that mean? Exclusive. This is the cover exclusive to Loot Crate. They did a Star Wars number one cover that was exclusive to Loot Crate as well. So that means that that was far more valuable than the regular run because there's a limited run of that. Same with Orphan Black was one of the highest selling books last month in February. My Death of Superman still. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's no. Totally no. I got no. 12 of them. Yeah, no. So. <laughs> no, no. This one was the number one selling book of February, and it sold out everywhere. My Amazing Man number one, I think, is more valuable right now. So, Orphan Black. There you go. And cool. this is the box. This is kind of cool. It's a smaller box than the original um, Blue Crate. Much so smaller. It, so, my son would like that he pretend he's on the computer. Yeah, tell him he's on the computer. There you With go. With the thumb thing here. So. Uh, okay, so there you go. This is a uh, loot crate for the month of March. March, I guess. Yeah, we're we're just coming to the end. Of yeah. March. Uh, at a scale of one to pizza, <laughs> using the uh, <laughs> game time decision crate. One to pizza. What would you What would you grade grade this? Oh crate? boy. Um, oh, I've just, I've looked into this, and apparently it's made out of uh, military grade parachute cord and orphan tears and orphan tears, uh, so that you can use it as a Recommended uses include making a tourniquet, building a snare, be used as fishing line, and parachute. So it's for survival tactics. Wow. Used so that's as worth, fishing line. That's worth so, thousands of dollars as it is. It's a multiple purpose bracelet in case you need to use it for something else you'll never need it for. Cut your arm off if stuck. <laughs> so, from my, my personal perspective, yeah. I dig the shirt, like James Bond, dig that. Yeah. Uh, like the Mad Libs, who, who doesn't? Uh, I'd give this a uh, six. Six, all right. And just to be cl perfectly clear, you're not kind of geeky like us. You're... Well, I'm not into comic books. Yes. So that and that, that's probably the major difference. And no, you... that watch was pretty badass. So yeah. I'll give that points as well. Yeah. So I'll, I'll go six point five. Uh, Josh, I'll go. Uh, Where'd you go last last time? Sorry? Where'd you go last time on the last of Crave? Was that uh, four? He was low. Yeah, I, I wasn't too impressed. You weren't, you weren't too impressed with the last one. I'm not too impressed by this, to be honest. Although, you know, I think I think the watch was pretty cool. How much uh, would you pay for that watch, like, in the store? Not $36. No, but, like, yeah, if pay. you're going to give... 10 bucks. I, I wear a nice watch, but I'd go, uh, I don't know, 15 bucks for that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not bad. That's yeah, half no, the I, box. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's... Right. I would I'd pay maybe 10 bucks for that watch. Yeah. Even though that's... It's, sure. it's gimmicky, 15? like, that's it. No, I wouldn't go for... Well... Yeah, I mean... 15, 20 bucks. I, I, my, rate, my rating would be, uh, I'd say, six. Six? Yeah. Well, this is a book of history of spies. Uh, you know, James Bond. Of and, course. Uh, and Austin Powers. And Austin Powers, yeah. Yeah, baby. Cool. Man, um, so six, you said? Yeah. So you gave a six? Six and a half. Six and a half. Because I forgot about the watch. Um, last time I gave a three. I'm going to double that. I think six, six and a half. Uh, I'm trying to throw on seven, but I'm just thinking won't use, um, probably won't use, won't use like the shirt. The watch is kind of cool. I'd actually probably use this um, lanyard and the lanyard I'd use. So it's about half, just over half. I'd say yeah, six and a half. Yeah. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So, uh, uh. Go ahead. No. <laughs> Covering my face. Perfect. I love it. Right there. Hi, mom. Uh. I, I actually kind of dig this. This is something I would give my nephew as a gift. Mm -hmm. yeah, push it. Press me. It says press me. Oh, there it is. See the like she said? On? Yeah. Uh, I, don't get, I don't give a crap. Um, I actually dig the comic book exclusives because these are limited numbers. And this was a number one selling comic on a huge, huge hit show. 
Uh, I don't care. I don't care. I kind of dig this because my mom was also a huge Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. fan. Uh, I think the t-shirt's cool, but I don't really like, uh, it's just, it's too big. I wouldn't wear it. Uh, out of all this stuff here, I honestly think that I could get more value out of going to my comic shop. Because I have a comic shop nearby, you have a comic shop nearby, yeah. and you have a comic shop nearby, and you will support them, I tell okay. you. Okay. Support yes. them, the I'll make right you support them. The one right next to me actually just recently closed. So Which one? They were open? Galaxy. Galaxy. They were open? I've never ever seen the doors open. They were open, yeah. Yeah, yeah they were oh. open uh, maybe up until like a few months ago. You know, I, I saw their stuff in the windows. The door yeah. was always locked, and I was just never saw them open. That's, I, I thought they had oh. shut down. Nobody had moved out. Okay, so if, if sorry, we come back to like... Yeah, sorry. So we have to go... This is a three-month trial. Two months uh, after the, the third month, I recommend that we stop using Loot Crate. Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, simply because I think it would be cooler if we actually bought something and brought it and we... Discuss it. And we discuss what we bought. So I agree. Yeah. I think that'd be, uh, for one, cheaper on the dollar for us to spend. Would you rate this, by the way? I rate this at least a seven because the t-shirt oh, I yes. liked, the watch I liked, the comic I liked, the this I liked. So more than I half like of the idea. stuff I like. I like your idea of um, doing, uh, just going to the comic store. Yeah. Find whatever whatever cool. reading or just, yeah, bring it in. Yeah. Something that we enjoy. And Mike? Yes, sir. You're going to bring it? something next time? <laughs> if, if I'm invited back, I will absolutely bring something from my well, local you, comic store. Yeah, well, you better start buying comics, man. Yeah. All right, so from all of us, um, first of all, let's go to Mike. Tell Hi. us, Mike, where, where can we find you? Uh, awesome. Yeah, you guys can listen to my podcast. Uh, it's Game Time Decision, uh, mostly about Vancouver Canucks stuff if you're into that Oops. kind of thing. Oh, oh, uh, if you're into it. that kind of thing. Um, or you can find me on Twitter at that Mike Paris. Find me, uh, Josh Whittle, on Facebook or Twitter, or the Generation Podcast uh, friends list. Um, find me at uh, Gen X Wing uh, on Twitter, as well as the Gener Generation X Wing po uh, podcast uh, on Facebook, generationxwing.com. Click the links. There's a link for Loot Crate. If you're, if this does entice you, uh, click the link, purchase through there, and uh, it will give us a little love back for for our podcasting. And on to you. Find me at crazypencil.ca at CrazyPencil75 on Twitter, or Bula Hitai and Crazy Pencil Art on Facebook. Thank you for tuning in to the Generation X-Wing Podcast. Follow us on Facebook at Generation X-Wing Podcast, or find us on Twitter at Gen X-Wing. The Generation X-Wing theme song is composed by Aram Ahmed. Find him on SoundCloud at sound underscore escape. <laughs>